Lady Rams basketball on WMIX and WMIXSports.com, where you can watch or listen from any device. Lady Rams basketball on WMIX Sports is powered by the official voice of Lady Rams Athletics, Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Lady Rams Basketball is also sponsored in part by the Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square, and King City Chrysler. You can count on us. Red Lake College. Save thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilk. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital. Raising the bar. Winning Edge. Schmidt Ford of Salem. And also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. All Stars in Central Christian Church. And People's National Bank. It's time to join Chris Hugo and Danny Zerwinski for Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball. From the Ford Square WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, the Landers Collision Center's pregame show starts now. And good afternoon. We welcome you inside Carbondale Community High School. Lady Rams will open up the Carbondale Midwinter Tournament with the Mascuto Lady Indians. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. We'll have your Landers Collision Center's pregame show coming your way in just a moment. But first... Landers Collision Centers, big or small, Landers sticks to them all, 1-888-LANDERS, that's 1-888-LANDERS. We're going to start about 9-10 minutes here from Carbondale Community High School. It's the first game of the Carbondale Midwinter Tournament. We'll preview this tournament, we'll talk a little bit about the Lady Rams' chances today against Mascuda. It's all coming up, stay tuned. This is Lady Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new one-checking product. The new One Account is a high-interest earning free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balance. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy offers convenience and great service, all for the same cost. Our pharmacy staff is so helpful. They're always ready to answer any questions you may have. You'll never wait hours for your prescription. We'll get you in and out in just minutes. Or, for added convenience, use one of our two drive through windows. For those folks who prefer to stay home, our delivery service will bring the medications to your front door or your workplace. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black to tell you more. Home delivery does make us stand out from the crowd. Independents, uh, like the medicine shop, offer home delivery. People find that so convenient. And not just seniors, uh, but also busy professionals. Delivery to work or to their home once they get home in the evening. It's just a, a service that sets us apart from our competition. Absolutely. It's so easy to transfer your prescriptions. All it takes is a phone call from you, and we'll take care of the rest. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy accepts Medco, TRICARE, Express Scripts, and many other 90-day plans. The Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was somewhere you could listen to knowledgeable discussions, interviews with a great mix of coaches, get the scores, and be entertained? You must have missed last week's Saturday sports show. Give AM 940 a couple of hours every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, and we'll give you the info you need like no one else can. It's your best option this sports season. The Saturday sports show on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what health care should be. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. And we welcome you back inside Carbondale Community High School. Midwinter tournament action begins right now. The Mount Vernon Lady Rams and the Mascuda Lady Indians. Lady Rams come in 8-5. and five. The Mascuda, of course, uh, took a while to find out, but they are 6-10 and 10 on the year. And so this will be a, a balanced matchup between two teams, of course, I believe, in all three of the same tournaments, Nashville, Carbondale, and, of course, the Mascuda Holiday Tournament. Lady Rams coming off a tough loss on Thursday night at home against Carbondale, 57-54. Meanwhile, Mascuda, of course, comes in looking to try to take advantage of that. It'll be a different look to your Page Insurance starting lineups. Of course, we'll meet them a little bit later on. Here on your Landers Collision Center's pregame show, Big or Small Landers fixes them all. Call 1-888-LANDERS. That's one triple eight landers And ask about premium detailing for the life of your car. Of course, with this being Midwinter Tournament Week, we'll try to do our very best to always keep you updated on games from around the area. Of course, this one off to an early start. I believe one game already in the books 
I believe, from El Dorado. Maybe two in the books by now. We'll have a scoreboard before you know it. Of course, scoreboards are presented by Tony Wiltshire, State Farm Agent of Alfred, and plenty more of those to come, hopefully, throughout the rest of the afternoon. Kind of an odd start time, D.C. The Lady Rams, of course, through the 4 o'clock matchup, which means we're on the air now, and it'll be the opener to this tournament. Lady Rams expecting good things. It's an odd start. It's a 50-degree January 20th day, and you look outside, and it's nice and beautiful and sunny, and uh, you're under a winter weather advisor by the end of the night. So it, it is that midwinter time of year, although there are some games already started up in Washington, Illinois. Uh, you have some games started, of course, up at Litchfield now. El Dorado Girls going on now. Of course, later tonight, the gluttony of teams and tournaments will start. We look over to our right in the side gym here at Carbondale. The Terriers are getting ready. They play tonight at, Mas at Massac County against Century. So a very busy, busy week of high school basketball here in southern Illinois. Of course, we'll talk more about the busy week from Carbondale. It's a Carbondale midwinter tournament. The Lady Rams, of course, in game number one. We'll talk more about this in just a moment here on your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. We'll take a break. This is Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. This is your local State Farm agent, Tony Will. I want to thank Mount Vernon and the surrounding area for continuing to support us over the past five years. If you have never sat down with someone to go over your insurance program, let me invite you into our office. Let us show you what working with the industry leader, represented by a local agent, can do for you. I'm located just off 42nd Street. You can reach our office 24 hours a day at 242-1421 or on the web at TonyWilt.com. Thanks again, and go Rams. Hi, this is Monica Wilt, Relationship Banker with People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. People's National Bank is focused on providing the best possible customer service and products to meet the needs of our customers. If you aren't receiving the products and service you deserve, maybe it's time to make a change. Change the name of your bank for the last time and make the switch to People's National Bank. People's National Bank, probably serving Southern Illinois since 1909, member FDIC. Here's Jeff Schmidt for Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. Business is really good. The new Silverado is selling very well. We're very pleased. It's a remarkable truck. It absolutely blows away the competition. The Dodge Ram and the Ford F-150 do not compare with this new truck. It's beautiful. It's laid out well. The seats are very comfortable. There is no other truck on the market that compares with the new Silverado. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Broadcasting live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square, this is Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball. Carbondale Community High School, that's where the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios are for Lady Rams basketball versus Muscuda. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Jeff Crow brings you video angles at WMIXSports.com. And Holly Carroll takes care of things back at the powerhouse on Broadway. First game of three tonight, Massac County, Marion to follow. It'll be Carbondale and Collinsville in the 7 o'clock matchup. Then teams will come back on Friday, some anyway. It'll be Marion and Collinsville at 5. Lady Rams, of course, and Mastec will be at 6.30. We're going to try to have that game on the air for you somehow, some way. Have a backup plan after a backup plan after a backup plan. So we're hoping to get that one on the air for you as well. Collinsville and Mount Vernon come back to open it up on Saturday at 10 o'clock a.m. We'll have that for you here on AM 940 with video at WMIXSports.com as of now. Then at 11.30 on Saturday, it's Marion Mascuda. And then at 1 p.m. to close it out, it's Carbondale Massac. D.C., probably the most interesting factoid of this tournament is just the sheer fact there are six teams. Every team gets three games, but it's not pool play, nor is it a round robin, nor is it a bracket. There's no trophy. You just have to do what you have to do. Carterville Girls Tournament had a thing like that the last week where everybody got five games in and nobody won a trophy because there were no trophies given out. So very similar setup. You get three games against people you don't see. That's important to coaches, but an odd setup here. And But, uh, again, you start on a Monday and you finish on a Friday, Saturday. So, uh, you know, you can get some games in, in between there. A lot of teams elected not to, but uh, very interesting how they're doing it here. Well, it is. And, of course, at 4 o'clock start today, it is Dr. Martin Luther King Day. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, of course. So uh, the holiday and schools out of session allow for a bit of an earlier start today and get the games in a little bit earlier than they normally would. Of course, we are expected to honor America here from Carbondale Community High School. This has been your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside Jeff Crows with us. Holly Carroll back to the studio. In fact, we're going to take a quick break. We'll come back and get you to set for your page insurance starting lineups. It's the Mount Vernon Lady Rams. It's the Mascuda Lady Indians coming up. This is Lady Rams basketball from WYX Sports. Don't just dream about a better job. 
go get it with scores of programs that take two years, one year, or even just a few months to complete. Red Lake College is your gateway to a career you'll love. From nursing to coal mining, from computer programming to cosmetology, and everything in between. Red Lake College is affordable, convenient, and ready to get you trained for your new job fast. Call us at 618-437-5321 or visit us at rlc.edu. America is a nation on wheels. Everyone has at least one automobile. We use them for shopping, work, everything we do. But they can be a threat. Some accidents can't be prevented. Your professional Pekin Insurance Agency, Page Insurance on Crownview and Mount Vernon, can help protect you from a large financial loss when an accident happens. Call Page Insurance today at 242-7000 about low-cost auto insurance from Pekin Insurance. Ask them about the many money saving discounts that are available. Depends on your hometown professional. Pekin Insurance. This is Chase Landers, Landers Collision Center. Imagine this. You're driving down the road. It's dark as can be outside. Thank goodness you just had that left headlight bulb replaced. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see a thing. Now, close your eyes. Okay, don't close your eyes. You're supposed to be driving. Imagine noticing a slight twinkle off to the left, just above the ditch. What is that, you think to yourself? All of a sudden, whack. You've just encountered your first deer hit. The left side of your vehicle is beat up pretty bad. The next thing I want you to imagine is very simple. Picking up your phone and dialing one triple eight landers to set up your repair. Deer claims are common and usually a very simple process which fall under comprehensive coverage. This is Chase Landers asking you to allow landers to be your collision repair shop of choice. Whether it be a deer hit, fender bender, or the regular uh-oh, sorry mom, Landers is here for you whenever you need it. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. One triple eight Landers. That's one eight 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 Landers. WMIX Sports is your home for the Mount Vernon Lady Rams, powered by Community First Bank. And we welcome you back inside Carbondale Community High School. We wrap up your Landers Collision Center pregame show. Chris Hugo with DC alongside. We'll get to know your Page Insurance starting lineups, of course. Page Insurance on Crown View and Mount Vernon. Page Insurance on that. Call for a quote. Two four two seven thousand. Who do you want first? Whoever you want to give us. Mascuda will be the home team on the scoreboard today. They will go with number four, Alex Cleveland. Number 10, Maddie Nicola. Number 23, Maddie Wetzler. Number 30, Brittany Zimpfel. And number 42, Megan Lindsay for Terry Muller's Mascuda Lady Indians, who we found out through some much digging and search that their record is 6-10. and ten. Their coaches didn't know. Diamond in the rough. And, of course, the Lady Rams are coached by Jeff Lonnan. Page Insurance. 242-7000 or log on to pageinsurance.net to help get a quote. Let's meet the Lady Rams. Lady Rams will go with number 10, Claire Ryan. Number 12, Courtney Scarborough. Number 31, Miriam Hester. Number 34, Micaiah Rush. And number 44, Isha Sanders for Jeff Lonnan's Mount Vernon Lady Rams. There you go. Community First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of Rams and Lady Rams Athletics here on WMIX. Five Jefferson County Branches, responsive quality service for all of your accounts. Community First Bank. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Tip will be controlled by Mascuda. Off to the left side, it will be Wetzler with the basketball. Right-hand dribble throws across the way to the right wing. Zipful. Back to the top for Cleveland. Alex Cleveland, no less. I wonder if that had any baseball influence to it. As off the right, good play to the right block, but no good. Left long by Nicola. Rebound will go to the Lady Rams. No score yet. Mount Vernon, Mascuda. Girls basketball action here from Carbondale. It is midwinter tournament time. It's hard to believe, but it is here. First quarter action. Glad to have you with us. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski. Jeff Crow helps with the video at WMIXSports.com. Holly Carroll back to the studio. Isha Sanders is going to kick across the paint to Hester. It's going to be stolen away. Turnover Mount Vernon. And here come the Indians into the front court. Backdoor lob play, and it's going to be a shot blocked by Claire Ryan. Nicola went up. She's fouled. She'll go to the line to shoot, too. As I bit my tongue. Ouch. It's not good foul. on a busy week we have. No, it's not. We have three different tournaments and all kinds of games to cover. Can't have that going on on the first night out of the gate. Not fun. First free throw is good. It's a one nothing lead for Mascuda. First free throw from Maddie Nicola. And I'm and I'm guessing those are that kind right there was that kind you nipped it, kind of like you kind of like you tweak an ankle real quick and it hurts really bad early. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. There'll be a little white bump and a sore there as the second free throw is no good. It'll belong to the Lady Rams. one nothing. Mascuda on top. 7-12 left to go here in the first quarter. Of course, we told you about Community First Bank. They are the official voice of the Rams and Lady Rams. We'll have some Tony Wilt scoreboard updates throughout the afternoon as El Dorado has already started midwinter play. 
Hester with it off the left wing to the right side inside the arc. It'll be Courtney. Dribbles in the lane. Kicks across. Mid-post jumper on the way from Hester is no good. Rebound underneath. It'll be... Didn't see because of the monitor. It'll be rushed to put it back up and in. Nice. Very nice effort by Mount Vernon getting that offensive rebound. And Makaya Rush again in the middle of things to tie it up here. Actually give Mount Vernon a lead. 6.55 left to go in the first. Lady Rams back in action Friday at 6.30 against Massac County. Free throw no good. Hester the rebound off the tip. Puts it back up high off the glass. No good. Rebound will go to Hester. Back up top. It'll be Ryan for three. No, left it short. Rebound to Miriam. Big rebound there, and the Lady Rams will reset. Jeff Lonnan will call into play with 6.41 to play in the first quarter. It's right elbow to Isha. Back to the left wing for Claire. Trying to make something happen underneath, but nobody there. Good defense that time by Mascuto. Lady Rams have it at the free throw line. Rush turns around inside. And foul on her way to the hoop, but no shot. Not in the act of shooting, so it should be a baseline trigger. Okay, they give her the continuation. They'll take it. Don't feel bad. Saturday night at the arena, I struggled trying to guess. Foul, not a foul, charge, block. Free throws, no free throws. Don't feel bad. Oh, feeling good, DC. Better? Yeah. Not the tongue. No, it still hurts. But I figured first that free throw is no good. You're not getting the break on that deal. Uh-uh. It'll throb and be swollen, but hopefully the dinner after will take care of that. Second free throw, no good. Rebound will go to the Indians. Wetzler with it. It'll be across the timeline. Cleveland right side at the wing with 6.25 to play in the first quarter. Left hand will stop the arc, kick across. Nice little pass there to the right side. Zipful, she'll launch a shot that's no good from the post. Good rebound by Hester. That's her second or third of the afternoon. It'll be Ryan into the front court. Stops at the right wing. Going to dribble around. Good man defense here by Cleveland, or woman defense. As Ryan's going to bounce it up top to Rush. Off of the right side. It's Courtney Rush is going to split the D. Wild shot to the basket is no good, and the rebound will go with the Indians. The WMIX Sports Mobile Studios are driven by Ford Square at 1501 Broadway in Malvern. And, of course, view their inventory online at FordSquare.com. 5.46 left in the first. With it up the left side, Nicola back to the top. Quick touch there. It'll be Lindsay off to the right side. Nope, comes back left for Wetzler. Zip full with it up top. Dribbles to the free throw line. Shut off. Goes back to the right wing. Now a three on the way. It's going to be good. Zip full with the three off of Wetzler. They went back and forth. It's 4-2, Mascuda. You can follow us on Twitter, at WMIX Sports. We hit another plateau last night. Glad to see her. Maybe it was yesterday or the day before. Appreciate all of our 1,400-plus followers. Hope you'll do the same, at WMIX Sports, and more of the same for Courtney. Oh, just left it long. Thought that was going in off glass. Courtney's been huge the past few games. Rebound to the Indians, and here comes Mascuda racing into the front court, and that's going to be an unforced error out of bounds. They were looking down left block for Cleveland. Pass goes out of bounds, turnover Indians. Early start, 4 o'clock start. You can tell the children are not quite into this yet in this late afternoon, early evening bonanza. A lot of these teams, of course, don't start playing until 6 o'clock. So a little different look. Got some sunshine through the windows here at the Carbondale Gym. Makes for a different ambiance here at Carbondale Community High School. Right wing three on the way is good, and it's 5-4. to four. Courtney Scarborough puts the Lady Rams on top with 4.39 left here in the first quarter. Dribbling across the timeline, Nicola with the basketball, looks off to the right. That's Wetzler with it. Now off of the right block, here comes a nice play by Lindsay, but left it long, rebound out of bounds off Mascuda. Of course, the Indians are in their home whites with purple trim, Lady Rams in their away blacks with orange trim. Mascuda is spelled out across the jersey of the Indians. It Lady is Rams are Lady Rams. It is Mascuda, not Moscow, Utah. But what well, you've heard. Other people have said in the past. Heard it before. It's no K.O. Kia or whatever that was. <laughs> that was K.O. Kia, yeah. <laughs> Instead of K.O. Kia. Hester with it up top for the Lady Rams. Has Courtney left. Goes Claire right. Now they're going to try to roll off Isha off the baseline. Good. Turn around, Jay. It's going to be 7-4. to four. Lady Rams are up 3. She is getting so much better as this season comes along. Exactly what they need. You're watching you online at WAXSports.com. It's powered by Lake College. Log on to RLC.edu. See how you can save thousands on your college education. Bounce past the baseline. It goes right back to the right arc for Nicola. As Cleveland up top, that's where she goes at the circle. Trying to split the D on the left. Trying to work baseline. Pivots back. Left wing pass is going to go to Zipful. Back into the corner, Cleveland. Looking underneath for Lindsay. Nope, going to throw it up top. Ooh, nice little ball fake there. Nicola throws off to the right. It's going to be Wetzler dribbling out. Now throws to the right side, Bryant. Much ado about nothing. Starting to get all worked up there. Nothing happened. It's back to the top. 
Nicola throws off to the right arc for Bryant. Bounce pass to Nicola. She's going to dribble. Finds a seam. Left, right block. No good. Post-up jumper was long. And now they'll reverse it to the outside. Bryant's going to leave a three short. It'll go. Nope. Yes, it will go out of bounds. 7-4. Lady Rams on top. 3-10 left to play here in the first quarter. Community First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of high school sports here on WMAX. Five Jefferson County branches, but ask for one checking. One means more. Community First Bank of the Heartland. Free checking, high yield interest. Ryan coming around from the right side. Has it picked away that should remain with the Black Unis. Orange trim. Orange Americans trimmed in white for the Lady Rams as Hannah Owens will check in for Miriam Hester. She'll make her first action of the day. Looks like there's 2.53 left in the first. Just guessing. Oh, now I see the right scoreboard. Ryan with it up top out of the baseline inbound. Right wing three coming. Good. Courtney has two threes on the day, and it's 10-4, Lady Rams. Quick start for the Lady Rams here against Mascuda. Nice to see. I think a team in the time this game started, the one that gets out to the quicker start, will have a much easier time. Up top, that's Kennedy Bryant. Dribbles to the left elbow, throws off to Cleveland. Going to try to go baseline. Had a seam. Worked it back door. Lindsay. It's going to be poked away. Hannah will pick it up. Turnover, Indians with 2.25 left in the first quarter. Lady Rams are up six. It's 10-4. And it basically dominated since it was 4-2. to two. They're on an 8-0 run. Somewhere. There it is. Follow us on Twitter at WMAX Sports. We're on Facebook as well. It's Ryan up to the top. Sanders now back right wing. Courtney a ball fake. Shot fake, I should say. And it off to Ryan coming around right to left. She stops at the circle with 2.02 left in the first quarter. Up six with the Lady Rams. It's 10-4. No backdoor play there. It's going to go to the right corner now. That was rushed back to the right wing for Ryan. Left hand dribble near the top. Off the screen. Now trying to go to the left side. It's going to have to double back and reset. Left wing, it's Isha. Looking back near the mid post. Courtney, nice little ball fake there into the paint. Ooh, underhanded layup is no good. Rebound to go to Owens, who puts the shot back up. And mm. Scooter fans are not going to be happy about that, but that'll send Hannah Owens to the line to shoot too. Looked pretty clean on that spike, but did not. As Mascuda looked pretty clean. I I don't know about that one. Mount Vernon may have caught a break there. Mm -hmm. Got to take advantage of this break because that is just the... I thought it was only the second. It's actually the third foul on Mascuda. <laughs> As Owens misses the first free throw. 139 left. First quarter action. Pardon me, Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Jeff Crow with us. He has video at WMIXSports.com. WMIXSports.com. There we go. A little issue with that. Now the underneath <laughs> rebound will go to Recurl. You need a cue card when we hold it up or what? No, I just had, did not really enunciate my W. Now we're good. 128 Double left. Up. I've been lazy speaking, I guess. My tongue, you're on the IR right now. <laughs> NFL terms. I got bitten twice shy there. Off of the right arc, Lindsay, or excuse me, that's Bryant, going to leave it up top, and it'll be stolen away. Good job there by the Lady Rams defensively. A little back tap, it ends up in the hands of Ryan across the timeline to the right wing. Crossover dribble, now switches left hand with a minute six to play in the first quarter. It's been presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. One means more. Community First Bank, it means free checking and high yield interest. Does it mean a turnaround off of the right block? Nope, oh. it means a jump ball. That one probably could have been a foul. That but one should have been a foul, ball. and the other one should have not been, but who am I to say? Who are we? I'm Chris Hugo, that's Danny Zerwinski, and this is WMIX Mount Vernon. Just outside the window, but that's okay. We still identify ourselves regardless. Make it legal. Mount Vernon just got a backdoor layup on the screen away. And Mount Vernon looks very good early, 12-4. Makes you wonder what they would have done in the Mosquito Holiday Tournament. No joke, they are on it. <laughs> A 10-0 run, a shot from the left post is no good from Zipful, and here come the Lady Rams in transition off of the rebound. Ryan with it with 39 seconds to play in the first quarter. 12-4 your score, a 10-0 run by the Lady Rams with Courtney, Courtney with the basketball off the right wing. Sanders now to the left wing for Ryan. Back up to the top for Hannah. Owens with it now off to the right arc. That's going to be Isha Sanders. 22 seconds left here in the first, 12-4 score. Rush going to get it up top, now left wing for Hannah Owens. Overhead, now going to throw at the top for Courtney. 13 seconds left, first quarter play. Lady Rams are up 8. 12-4 over Mascuda out of St. Clair County. Nice little dribble into the paint. Ryan's going to give it to Isha. Throws up a shot near the buzzer. No good. Rebound will go into the corner. No shot coming from the Indians. After one, it's the Mount Vernon Lady Rams 12. 
the Mascuda Lady Indians four. This is Malford and Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with a market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. There's a good reason why Second Chance Auto has been in business for 33 years. They believe in doing business the right way. With honest deals, it's the only way they know. And thanks to Second Chance Auto, you don't have to head out of town to get financing. They offer bank rate financing to everyone. Yes, everyone. You'll find a great selection of quality vehicles with three-month or 3,000-mile warranties. Come see why they've been successful for 33 years at Second Chance Auto. Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball. Welcome you back. Second quarter action, Carbondale Community High School. This is the Carbondale Midwinter Tournament. The Mount Vernon Lady Rams lead Mascuda 12-4, but it's the Indians basketball to start off of the right wing. That is Lindsay. Going to throw back to the top. It'll be zipped over to the left side for Zipful. Off for Wetzler. Now back into the corner for Lindsay. 7.40 to play here in the first half. It's 12-4. Lady Rams on top. Lindsay with it off of the right arc. A 10-0 run for the Lady Rams. They trailed 12, or excuse me, 4-2 and haven't looked back since. Lindsay going to try to roll off. Rolled off a screen but left the shot short. Rebound will go to Scarborough. Finds Hannah all alone off of the left side. Could have come up with it. She's fouled on her way up and she'll go back to the line. Well, Mount Vernon's got to improve on that as they have not made a free throw in five attempts here so far in this game. That's a troubling sign even though Wetzler's picked up her second. We did find out that Mascuda is 6 and 10 via other sources to start this one. Owens good on the first. The Lady Rams get their first free throw of the night. That'll make the score 13 to 4, up 9. How's your water? You've I been looking it. for it all week. Oh, they do a great job with that. Do a great job with everything. Ah, sweet tea's really good here today, too. Second free throw will rim out. Of course, now your score 13 4. Lady Rams are up 9 here in the first half. Off the right wing, that is Cleveland. She'll dribble left to hand off to Nicola. Let's see. Chris Let's Hugo, Danny Zerwinski, live from Carbondale Community High School. It is the Carbondale Midwinter Tournament. Mascuda is not taking very many looks around the rim. They get a cut to the basket. As soon as somebody's within a couple feet or less of them, they don't even look to the rim. They just kick it right back out. Very content to run around the perimeter. Five of them now, now four are outside the arc. Now, there they go. Now, see, they needed to be more aggressive, and that time they did. That foul is on Rush, her first, team second. And Lady Rams lead 13-6. Got to be pretty pleased with the start. Need to improve a little bit on the free throw shooting and get some things going the other way on putbacks as that three-point play is good. It's 13-7. Mount Vernon leads by six as the free throw was good. Good so three-point play there by Zipful. 13-7 to score. It's a six-point game now. Mascuda scored for the first time in about six minutes. Up top, Courtney Ball faking to go left side. Pulls up at the volleyball line. And good. Courtney's been huge the past few games. She now has eight on the night. It's 15-7. Confidence growing in her between jump shooting and getting to the rim, jump stopping. Boy, she has really come a long way. Off of the left, that's going to be Lindsay. Two zip full in the left corner with two six minutes left to play. Two minutes in, I should say, to the second quarter. 15-7. Lady Rams. Ooh. Oh, let's see it again. Trying to deal with too much other stuff. Fat Mount Vernon up 15-9, 5.45 left in the first half as Ryan will bring it across the timeline man-to-man -man from Mascuda. Ryan on the dribble guarded by Cleveland. She'll go to the right side, has her pocket pick turnover. Mascuda comes the other way. First turnover, Lady Rams as Cleveland goes one-on-one, -on -one, blocked by Ryan. And the Lady Rams will come the other way. Down the court to Makaya Rush. Layup good. Good look. Good find. Rush with the finish. She has four. It's 17-9. 5.27 left to go in the first half. Nikola across the timeline. N-I-N-E-K-O-L-A is the name. On the left wing is Cleveland. 
Cleveland with it. Talbot on the left wing leaves it for Lindsay. Lindsay holds above her head and looks for somebody patient on the back door cut to Zipfel. Now over to Nikola up and in. What a big basket there by Nikola. Makes it a six point game. It's 17 11. Thank you, sir. 4.55 left in the first half. Lady Rams with the basketball in the backcourt. It'll be Ryan to dribble to the cross. Committee First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of high school sports here on WMIX. And, of course, five Jefferson County branches makes them the market leader. That's Malford and Dix, Woodlawn, and Ida. Welcome back to personal banking. That's a turnover, Lady Rams. They were looking underneath. Pass was high. It'll go back with the Indians. 4.39 left to play here in your first half. We are in the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by King City Chrysler. Express Lane, fast oil changes and more. They do more than oil changes, and they do it fast. See them at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, right there at King City Chrysler. Service without an appointment. 428 left in the first half, six-point game, 17-11. Now looking inside, tipped away Eshan, no way there to get it for the Lady Rams. And out of the right wing on a nice, crisp pass, but fine down low, the open woman, Lindsay, shot partially blocked. <laughs> Rebound to Owens with 4-12 left to play here in the first half. Off of the right arc, it's Courtney. Looks to the top, finds Micaiah Rush. Four minutes left to go halfway through the second quarter. Lady Rams on top, 17-11. It's been a little more Mascuda here in the second quarter, but Lady Rams are hanging tough. Out of the corner, a pull-up three's coming. It's good. Claire Ryan drains one. It's 20-11. to well, you don't have to worry about free throws when you make threes. Ryan has one. Scarborough has two. That's 90 or 20 points coming from behind the three-point line. And now it'll be Nicola across the timeline, right of the circle. 335 left. Video streaming at WMAXSports.com is powered by Red Lake College. They're out of service or out of session, I should say, today for the holiday. But you can log on to rlc.edu to apply any time. Inside post move. It's no good from Zipful. Rebound will be tipped back out. Mid post, if full and a turnaround inside, no good. Rebound will go to Hannah. And it'll be taken away. That should be a foul, but it's going to be a jump ball as they miss another. Free 15 left. Ball. Scores from around Southern Illinois. El Dorado, Goreville beat by Anna 66 57. Harrisburg beat, Harrisburg beat Fairfield 48 20. Those are girls' scores. And at Litchfield today, boys' game, Greenville beat East Alton Wood River 58 42. 3.09 left in the first half. 20-11, a nine-point game. Off of the right wing, it's Scarborough. Looks at the top for Isha. Lob pass inside, handed to the turnaround short. Gets her own rebound. Nope, it'll be tipped away. And coming away with it will be Kennedy Bryant for the Indians. She'll try to dribble out of traffic with 2.54 left. Lady Rams are up nine. It's 20-11. Lob play into the front court. Recuro is going to have to give it back. It'll be Bryant coming in from the arc. Dribbles back to the outside. And to Nicola up top. 2.41 left. First half action from the Carbondale Community High School Midwinter Tournament. Very first game of the afternoon. Two more to come tonight. Massac County, Marion, Collinsville, Carbondale. If you like alliteration, those last two are your games. Post up. Off the right block is no good. And then I'm not sure what happened there. A fastball was rifled in. And there will be a foul on that particular shot to send Bryant to the line to shoot two. Sanders picks up her first foul. Nobody in foul trouble, really. For either team, Wetzler has two from a scoot. Other than that, very timid and fast-moving first half. And nobody can make a free throw. Goodness gracious. Ugh. Poor free throw shooting here on a Monday afternoon. Shouldn't be. It's warm outside. Golf ball carried a little bit today. Once it got over about 39 degrees, golf ball carried a little bit farther. Warm day outside. Snow tomorrow. Hard to Cold. believe winter weather advisory from midnight tonight until 9 tomorrow. That's just insane. As the second free throw is good. That's the Jefferson County anyway. Is that 9 tomorrow night or 9 in the morning? I knew you were going to ask. Okay. I'd forgot. But you need to be specific with those things. I was just trying to buy myself a few moments to find out. Off of the right, it's going to be Scarborough to the top for Peyton Hayes. Looking back left for Hannah Owens. To the top for Ryan. Claire's going to swing it to Hayes off of the left arc. They're going to try to get Sanders with it up top. They do. Two minutes to play in the first half. 20-12. Lady Rams are up 8-3 from Hayes. It's good. Nice. That's when you know your night's going the right way, when Peyton Hayes can step off of the bench and nail a big well, three. They dropped off of it. You Mascuda didn't have a good scouting report. They backed off, and she said, I'm open. I've knocked this shot down before in both levels. And that's exactly what she does. Lead back to 11. That's till 9 a.m. tomorrow, that winter weather advisory for Jefferson County. Yes. Ooh. What a play by Lindsay coming off the left baseline, dribbles into traffic, and draws a foul. She puts one away. Yeah, that's one of the things Mount Vernon has to work on, that shot fake, and they're falling 
they were falling for that first fake and then gone. And then, fortunately for Mount Bennett, it hurts him in this case. As that will send Lindsay to the line for the and one with 136 left. Ooh, misses. Rebound will go to Ryan Hot at the elbow, no less, or near it. 132 left in the quarter in the half, and up to the right wing, it'll be Scarborough back to bat Ryan on a bounce pass. Community First Bank, home of the one account, featuring free checking and high-yield interest. Always bank on your hometown team. Is this going to be a bank three after it hit the front of the iron? No. Thought it was going to bank off glass and drop back down, but the rebound will go to Mascuda. Up the left side, that will be Zipful with the basketball. She's looking around up top. Nope, going to turn around off the dribble, come inside. Shot cleanly blocked, but that'll be a foul. I think both sides kind of realize that. Yeah. Courtney's picked up her first. No big foul trouble there. And pretty clean block does not go by the boards. Goes to be a foul. First free throw up and in. Smattering of fans here from Mascuda this afternoon. Winning Edge is one of our Rams booster sponsors. Tell you about them after this free throw as the second one's good. It's 23-16 touchdown game now. Pretty good game. Scoot is <coughs> kind of waking up a little bit here in the last minute of this first half. Last couple of minutes, India, in fact. Isha with it off the left. Are going to give it out of the right side. Dribbled off of the leg. And they're going to say tip mm. by Mascuda. Okay. Basketball is heating up. Don't get caught without your Rams gear. Check out Winning Edge for a variety of Rams t-shirts, hoodies, caps, bags, and more. Find Winning Edge in Mount Vernon at 212 South 9th and on the web at winningedgeusa.com. So Ryan off of the inbound Man. play. They found her right down the middle. That's 25-16. Back up nine with 44 seconds left in the half. Be Bryant with it up top. Back to the right for Lindsay. Looking cross court. Nope. Fools everybody. Goes to zip full up top. Back to the right for Nicola. With 31 seconds left to play in the first half, we'll have your second chance auto halftime show coming up in a moment. But don't forget, you can always bank on your hometown team in Jefferson County. It's Community First Bank. Five Jefferson County branches and responsive quality service. For all of your accounts, Committee First Bank, <laughs> welcome back to Personal Banking. Did you get the link I sent you this morning? Yeah, I got that? that link, too. Richard Sherman is being put with everybody. <laughs> Off the left block, that's going to be Lindsay. Kicks out Nicola. Ball fake, trying to go inside. Claire never bought. And now inside, shot partially blocked. It's going to be long. Rebound will go to Sanders. She'll save it in the corner with one second left. Lady Rams will not get a shot off, and that's okay. We're at the end of the first half. It's the Mount Vernon Lady Rams 25, the Mascuda Indians 16. This is Lady Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high-interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balance. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. Don't just dream about a better job. Go get it with scores of programs that take two years, one year, or even just a few months to complete. Red Lake College is your gateway to a career you'll love. From nursing to coal mining, from computer programming to cosmetology, and everything in between. Red Lake College is affordable, convenient, and ready to get you trained for your new job fast. Call us at 618-437-5321 or visit us at rlc.edu. More Americans are on the move today than ever before. One of the most popular modes of transportation is the motorcycle. Motorcycles take us to our jobs, school, to the beach, and all around the country. If you're a bike rider, your Pekin Insurance Agency pays insurance on Crown View and Mount Vernon wants to make sure you have the best insurance protection while you're riding. Ask about the money-saving auto cycle discount and the experienced driver discount, too. Call Page Insurance at 2427000 today about motorcycle insurance from Pekin Insurance. Raise your hand if you're tired of showing up for a service appointment only to sit around a waiting room. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram dealer at King City Chrysler Center. Our express lane fast oil changes and more provide quick, convenient service with no appointment needed. Our specialists are on hand to wait on you with lanes dedicated just for your oil changes, tire rotation, brake inspections, batteries, bulbs, wiper blades, air filter replacements, and more. We will also perform complimentary vehicle inspections with every oil change. We work around your schedule, open weekdays from 7.30 until 5, 
and Saturdays from 8 a.m. until noon. See Express Lane Fast Oil Changes and more for all of your service needs, and we will get you back on the road quick. We're located at King City Crisis Center at 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois. Just another reason you can count on us. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. The second chance auto halftime show starts now. Welcome back to Armandale Community High School. 7.35 to play in the third quarter. 25-16 to 16 is your score as the Mount Vernon Lady Rams are up nine. All from Mascuda in the opening game here at the Carbondale Midwinter Tournament. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Jeff Crow is with us. Bringing you a video at WMIXSports.com. It's Holly Carroll back at our Mount Vernon studio. Second Chance Auto, there's a reason they've been around for over 33 years. They have the largest selection of pre-owned vehicles. Priced under $10,000 with bank rate financing for all. Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. We'll take a break here at the half. It's the Mount Vernon Lady Rams 25. The Mascuda Lady Indians 16. This is Mount Vernon Basketball from WMIX Sports. This is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers. Imagine this. You're driving down the road. It's dark as can be outside. Thank goodness you just had that left headlight bulb replaced. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to see a thing. Now, close your eyes. Okay, don't close your eyes. You're supposed to be driving. Imagine noticing a slight twinkle off to the left, just above the ditch. What is that, you think to yourself? All of a sudden, whack! You've just encountered your first deer. The left side of your vehicle is beat up pretty bad. The next thing I want you to imagine is very simple. Picking up your phone and dialing one triple eight landers to set up your repair. Deer claims are common, and usually a very simple process, which fall under comprehensive coverage. This is Chase Landers asking you to allow Landers to be your collision repair shop of choice. Whether it be a deer hit, fender bender, or the regular, uh-oh, sorry mom, Landers is here for you whenever you need it. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. one landers that's one 888 landers Back to Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. And we welcome you back, WMIX, WMIXSports.com here at the half from Carbondale. The Lady Rams lead Mascuda 25-16. to We'll take a look at scoring and stats just a moment. Don't forget you can follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We're on Facebook, same location. And now here are your scoring and stats. Mount Vernon 6-13 of 13 from two-point range, 46%. They were 3-6 of six from the arc for 50. Lady Rams go 9-19 of 19 from the field in the first half for 47%. Mascuda 4-18 of 18 from two-point range, 22%. 1-2 from the arc. They go 5-20 of 20 from the field in the first half for 25%. Mount Vernon was, Vernon was woeful at the free throw line, 1-8 of eight for 13%. Mascuda 5-8 of eight for 63%. The Lady Rams out-rebounded Mascuda 17-12. And Mascuda had three turnovers compared to Mount Vernon's two. For scoring, Mascuda had four players scored in the first half. Brittany Zipfel with eight. Maddie Nicola had five. Megan Lindsay, two. And Kennedy Bryan had one. Lady Rams were led by Courtney Scarborough with eight points, including two threes. Claire Ryan had seven. Micaiah Rush, four. Peyton Hayes, three. Isha Sanders, two. And Hannah Owens, one. To give you a halftime score of Mount Vernon 25, Mascuda 16. Second chance auto, there's a reason they've been around for over 33 years. They have the largest selection of vehicles priced under $10,000 in one location. Also, no fancy sales or gimmicks, just honest deals and bank rate financing for all at Second Chance Auto. Route 142 East in Mount Vernon continued and proud supporters of the Mount Vernon Rams. It's 25 16 Mount Vernon here at the half. Lady Rams up nine at the Carbondale Midwinter Tournament. We'll come back after a quick break here on your Second Chance Auto Halftime Show. We'll try to get you a scoreboard update. Not very many, but a couple. They're important. We'll get to those and much, much more. This is Lady Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy offers convenience and great service, all for the same cost. Our pharmacy staff is so helpful. They're always ready to answer any questions you may have. You'll never wait hours for your prescription. We'll get you in and out in just minutes. Or, for added convenience, use one of our two drive through windows. For those folks who prefer to stay home, our delivery service will bring the medications to your front door or your workplace. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black to tell you more. Home delivery does make a stand out from the crowd. Independents uh, like the medicine shop offer home delivery. People find that so convenient. And not just seniors, uh, but also busy professionals. Delivery to work or to their home once they get home in the evening. It's just a, a service that sets us apart from our competition, absolutely. It's so easy to transfer your prescriptions. All it takes is a phone call from you, and we'll take care of the rest. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy accepts Medco, TRICARE, Express Scripts, and many other 90-day plans. The Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. 
Find us on Facebook. This is Lady Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. And we welcome you back on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside here at the half from Carbondale. It's Mount Vernon 25, Mascuda 16, girls basketball midwinter tournament, of course. Not very many scores. we have more scores than I thought we did. Oh, give me a break. You're not trusting me to find out all I this stuff I trust you. Yet. I just didn't realize there's that many tournaments already going. Oh, Let's plenty, plenty here at Litchfield in. Boys. Greenville beat East Altwood River 58-42. At the Washington tournament today, Alton beat Grays Lake North 76-53. Back to girls play now at El Dorado. Goreville beat Vienna 66-57. And Harrisburg beat Fairfield 48-20. There you go. Those scores presented by Tony Wilt, your state farm major to Mount Vernon. Find him online at TonyWilt.com. Look for him in his office. He's at the corner of 42nd and South Water Tower. Or do what I like to do. Try to find the white state farm jeep around town and see how you can get to a better state with state farm agent Tony Wilt. So about two minutes before we start the second half. Lady Rams are up nine. 25 to 16. Their largest lead has been 11. But all in all, Lady Rams team who thought they thought kind of might be sluggish, maybe some momentum disrupted, of course, having to go with a different starting lineup. Really, not too much to be concerned about right now if you can keep playing this way in the second half. Well, that's uh, that's exactly what's happening and what's going on is uh, they came out very, very prepared, and it seemed like very business person effort so far for the Lady Rams. Got out, got things going, got some things looking around, and didn't hang around. Made sure we're the aggressors early on. I think in a game like this where there's not a lot of people in the gym, you got daylight still outside. It's still kind of daytime and everything. And it's kind of hard to get in that basketball flow this time of day. And, you know, again, Malvern did a good job being the aggressors in the first half. They did a very good job. And, of course, you take a look at how they shot. And shot, well, of course, when I'm doing this role, I don't keep shooting statistics. But shot pretty well. And you're pointing yep. to Twitter. Yeah, I'm pointing. How about that? Nice. St. Sebastian Day, and that's the patron saint of all athletes anyway. Um, Mount Vernon did a very good job, and I think shooting from the outside helped 9 of 19 total. The one thing they do have to improve on, as I mentioned, is free throw shooting only 1 of 8. Game like this may or may not come down to that with an 8-point lead, but that needs to improve. Uh, needs to improve indeed. We're about to see the second half commence. Lady Rams are in their away blacks, orange trim, orange numerics trimmed in white, while Mascuda, not Masco, Utah, Mascuda, the Indians are in their home whites with purple trim. And I, that might be a kind of a black ring around those purple numbers. Of course, on their unis. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski. It is the bottom of the hour. We'll pause for station identification. This is Lady Rams Radio. Honored annually by the Illinois Broadcasters Association for Broadcast Excellence, WMIX Sports is WMIX Mount Vernon, a winner's broadcasting superstation. And we welcome you back, of course. We didn't go very far. We just identified ourselves with a little bit of legal ease. Out of the left corner, Mascuda with the basketball course going left, <coughs> pardon me, to right. Cleveland with it up top. 7.44 to play. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast on WMIXSports.com. with video. Easy post-up play down low. They found the open woman. Yeah, that was pretty easy. Just dribble penetration, defense clapped on the ball, and all of a sudden, bang. And now it is just like that, 25-18. to Seven-point game here on the road at Carbondale, though not a true road game. As Scarborough tries the three, and it's good. Well, there nice. you go. Three threes already this afternoon for Miss Scarborough. Wow. Not bad. Out of the right corner, 7-17 to play in the third. Nicola's going to give off to zip full off the left. She tries to have an answer at three. Nice tip by Rush. Gets it to Scarborough on the rebound. Not bad. Lady Rams look inspired with seven to play here in the third. Up 10, 28-18. Off of the right, it's going to be Scarborough into the corner. Near it, I should say, for Isha. Back to Courtney. Ball fake, pump fake even. Off the left side, it'll be Rush. She's just going to hand off. And it'll be Ryan between the circles. Back off to the right sideline for Courtney. Looking underneath, forcing it into Owens, and that'll be tipped away. And now it'll Plinko, say by oh. Mascuda out of bounds. Had they just let it roll yep. out, it would have been Mascuda basketball, but she unsure. They try. Didn't need to touch it and mess that up. The Lady Rams will have the basketball and a bit of a break. Inside Owens again. Not much on the turnaround. Give it to Micaiah. Her shot's blocked. It'll be rebounded by Lindsay. And here come the Indians into the front court. Down 10. 6.30 to play in the third. Committee First Bank of the Heartland. The official voice of high school sports here on WMIX. Always bank on your hometown team at Community First Bank. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, that one checking account, fantastic free checking. High yield interest. Back off the left, that is Lindsay to the top for Zipful. 
Alexander with it off of the right. And, ooh, that sounds good. That's about a month, though. Not two months away. Yum, yum. 28-18, your score. 5.58 left to go in the third quarter. Mascuda with it. Zip full. And Wetzler with it off the right. Back to the top for Cleveland. They're trying to make, looks like, maybe make something happen inside. Not there. And now they're going to dribble in. Uh-oh, nice play, but his shot is blocked. Nicola went inside, and her shot blocked by Claire. And away with the rebound come the Lady Rams. Up the right side, nice bounce pass. Hannah, basket, no. But she'll go to the line to shoot, too. And Mount Vernon, when they've had an opportunity to get up down the floor running today, they have done a great job of doing that. And finding the open person. First free throw is no good. Mm, Got to get your legs into it. Bend and snap that wrist. 5.38 left in the third. WIX Sports Mobile Studios are driven by Ford Square. 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Lady Rams tie their largest lead at 11. 29-18, 5.35 left here in the third quarter. Nicola dribbles off left side. Going to hand off. Here comes Zipfel into the lane. That's going to get a... A foul call off the left side. Ooh. Into the line will go Brittany Zipfel. Second on Scarborough. There's what I need. First free throw up and in. One thing about it, Pascuta has been able to cash some free throws in to kind of hang around in this one. That's been pretty well the difference for them. Second free throw, no good. They get their own rebound. The shot back, though, and Mount Vernon cleans it up, though, after one attempt. 29-19, the score. It's a 10-point game. Lady Rams on top after the defensive rebound. It'll be into the front court. Off of the right side, it's Owens. Looking between the circles for Sanders. Now off the left wing, that's going to be Claire Ryan. Right-hand dribble stops. Ooh, nice pass to Rush. Swung around to the right. Courtney's going to find handoff block, and that's going to get sandwiched between the rim and the glass. Not what you want to happen. No, nope. but it does, and you go. You move on. You tip your hat to the iron. Sixth defender out there on the floor sometimes. Sometimes. That'll probably happen less with the new ball contract next year because I have not seen it happen so much as in the existing contract. Well, it's not like you're using an indoor-outdoor ball either. <laughs> I mean, it's not like Mr. Squeaky. Why is it Jeff Lonnie just hopping out there and getting that down using the, his vertical? Instead, they use the basketball, throw at it a couple times, and finally get it down the way we will go. Ten-point game, Lady Rams on top. Five minutes left to go, and it should be Lady Ram basketball. Now the possession will flip the other way. Quick inbound to the right side. Isha back to the top, Ryan. Now off his screen, a three on the way from Courtney is good. Wow. Four threes. That's the player of the game so far. Uh-huh. And that extends the Lady Ram lead to 13, their largest of the night. 4.47 left in the third. Alexander with it off of the right arc to the elbow dribbles. Stolen away by Courtney. She's going to have a two-on-one with Claire. Up the left side, has it stripped away by Zipfel, and that's going to be a foul. Second, first on her, second on the team. And Ryan and Scarborough are definitely the ones that have energized the Lady Rams here this afternoon. A nice little dastardly duo amongst that senior leadership. So Courtney's at the line shooting two, trying to extend the Lady Ram lead. First free throw is good. Big quarter, seven for her already. And the big difference. See if she can extend even more. Looking to make it 15-point lead with 438 left in the third quarter. Courtney's at the line shooting two, made the first, where you wait the back end. I heard that. <laughs> Been a while since I played that. Is this will be <laughs> a rebound that's tipped down. It'll be turned over by Mascuda, and it'll be Lady Ram basketball with 4:35 left in the third. Multitasking. I retired from that. Got a little uh, over aggressive in some of my matches. Mm. Had to settle down. It'll be quick in s into the corner for Scarborough. Tried to force the pass inside. Makai is going to recover off of the tip and somehow get two shots at the line. Well, it works for Mount Vernon. And Isha, rather. That is the second foul on Nicola, and that will send Isha to the line to shoot two. She has two points. Follier back in the first quarter. Mount Vernon dominating here early on. Isha at the line. Her first is no good. She'll have another. 33-19. Lady Rams are up 14 with 4.30 left to go here in this third quarter. Community First Bank of the Heartland. 
five uh, Jefferson County branches. They have friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs. They like to keep it simple. They also want to be the first to say, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. One and two of that trip for Sanders. Into the front court comes Mascuda. Nicola into the lane. Carried the basketball. But left through the air and got it off the window. It's going to be 31-34-21. As Nicola picks up some points. 4-13 to play in the third quarter. Owens with it off of the right wing to the top for Sanders. Isha looks left, comes left to Ryan. Scarborough's all alone there on the right side. You know what idea she's probably having. Get me the basketball. And now they will fall with it. Should be a jump ball after the scrum. It'll go with Mascuda here with 3.59 left in the quarter. Our next Lady Rams broadcast, well, could be Friday, might be Saturday. We'll definitely have the Saturday game on for you. We'll see how things work out, but going to try to be here on Friday night as well as the Lady Rams will play Massac, I believe, at 6.30 on Friday night. 3.49 left in the third. Skip pass will come to the right side. It'll be Cleveland back to Bryant. Right hand dribble to Cleveland now. Off a screen, she'll dribble in the lane. Free throw line stop, gives back to the top. And now a three from Zipful is no good, and the rebound underneath goes to Lindsay. Turnaround jumper off the rebound, however, is no good. Lady Rams with the basketball into the front court. It'll be Ryan trying to dribble past Cleveland. Stops on the sideline now. We'll throw one up inside that's no good. Lady Rams can't get the rebound. Yikes. But a good play by Courtney. She will somehow tightrope the sideline after intercepting the pass. Saves it into Peyton Hayes. 49ers could have used her yesterday with 3.08 left to go in the third quarter. Left handable for Ryan between the circles. Back to the right side, Scarborough. With 3.02 to play here in the third. Underneath it's Hannah. Off glass, good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> photo bombing. Good to see Coach Hop. Yeah. Always fun to come to Carbondale. 2.49 left. Is that's going to be a good play by Nicola off of the right block? Part coast to coast and try to get in there. Hayes picks up her second, second on the team. And Nicola goes to the line for the and one to try to make it a 12-point game. For 2.48 left to go in the third, Red Knight College powers our video streaming. Log on to rlc.edu to see how you can save thousands of dollars on your college education. You just saw a free throw on an and one, a three-point play, makes 36-24. With 2.42 left to go in the third quarter. Midwinter tournaments really get gung-ho tonight, especially on the boys' side. Although I believe there are some boys already playing. That's going to be a travel up top on the Lady Rams. Took an extra step. With 2.34 left to go in the third quarter. But the famous Benton Invitational gets started tonight. The Midland Trail Conference Tournament gets started tonight. The CWCIT, I believe, starts tonight. Amongst countless others. Off the left side. Trying to go back door. Mascuda tried to get a little too fancy. And this is going to be a jump ball to go with the Lady Rams. And when in doubt, go jump ball. Yeah, that's blatantly obvious. Didn't have a clue, just, just kind of do what you got to do to kind of keep everything under control. And then nobody questions at that point. Nah. 12-point lead for the Lady Rams, of course. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Jeff Crow is with us. Holly Carroll back at our Mount Vernon Studios. They look off to the right outside the paint. It's going to be Courtney. Ball fake. She'll step back. Step back three coming. Step back three good. Three Tell threes in the quarter. Five in a game. Yikes. That'll work. That's money. And it's a 15-point lead for the Lady Rams, 39-24. Off the left, Jeff Lonnan's going to be happy if this score holds. Well, I should say the, yeah, who's on which side of the score, I should say. Obviously, you don't want to stop like this. 145 to play in the third quarter. Coming around off the right side, it's going to be a wing pass. Wetzler looking in. Lindsay's going to leave it short. Rebound will go to Isha. So Lady Rams had the basketball in the backcourt with a minute 32 left to go in the third quarter. Semantics and logic, according to Hugo, not a class you want to take. Trust me. Mid-post, turnaround coming for Isha on the Iron Kind. It's going to be 41-24. The Lady Rams are up 17. Pulling away. Starting That's to. what makes this even more impressive. Amen to that. With it up top, it's going to be Nicola. Left hand dribble around the perimeter is going to give off. Deep three coming left side is going to be no good. That was off of the hands, I believe, of Zipful, but it's going to be saved on the rebound by Lindsay up to Bryant up top. With a right hand dribble, kicks off to the sideline. This is going to be Wetzler with the basketball. She tried to dribble into the paint, almost had it stolen away. Nicola, nice ball fake. Heads down the left side of the paint, leaves her shot short. Rebound will be tipped. That should be Lady Ram basketball. So there you go. Sometimes even Hugo is right. 
Let's see. Try to see the clock. 48.2 seconds left to go in the third quarter. 17-point game. Has the Lady Rams on top of Mascuda, 41-24. Claire Ryan within the backcourt. Right-handed riddle. Oh, she's going to go back and forth between the hands, and that's okay. Just won't describe every switch. Deep right wing is Courtney. Looking up top for Isha. Isha looking inside on the backdoor cut for Owens, but goes to Peyton Hayes on the right wing. She's played quality minutes lately. Owens with it up top. Looking for Ryan coming off of the wing. Going to hold high overhand and uncontested. She might as well. Now she'll take a few dribbles. Throw over to the right side for Ryan. 18 seconds left to go. Third quarter action from Carbondale. It's 41-24. Lady Rams up 17. Ryan with it from Scarborough. Ryan going to try to drill past the defender. In this case, is Wetzler throwing back door. It's going to be tipped. Good save by Hayes. Looking inside Isha. Good find. And Sanders is going to be fouled. She was not going up. We'll see if they credit her with a shot attempt. Okay. Carroll picks up her first, team's fourth. Done trying to guess. 41-24 the score. Good to see Coach Jenkins here from Carbondale. Of course, why wouldn't she be the host of the tournament? They play tonight. Makes all the sense in the world. First free throw, no good for Misha. 17-point game. No good, either one. Rebound will go to number 22, Recuro. And with three seconds left, she'll almost drain. A three-quarter court shot, though. She was late. So it would not have counted, but it was impressive nonetheless. We are after three quarters. The Mountford and Lady Rams 41. Muscuda 24. This is Lady Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Renly College is the golf volunteer literacy program is looking for volunteers to help stop adult illiteracy. Give the gift of reading and be a hero forever. Renly College will provide you with training and materials to help adults develop the basic reading ability needed to excel. You can work one-on-one, -on -one, tutor a small group, or work with students in an adult education classroom. Experience the joy of helping others and change a life. Call Renly College's volunteer partnership toll-free at 800-369-5321, extension 1342. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with a market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Broadcasting live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by King City Chrysler. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball. They're making good time in Carbondale. We start the fourth quarter, about 10 seconds in. Mascuda with the basketball. Nicola trying to dribble in mid post, has to go to the top. Zip full of three on the way. It's going to be sh well, short and long off of the iron rebound underneath the lens. It gets back to zip full, kicks out to the right side. Wetzler, a three on the way. That's going to rim out. Rebound will go to the Lady Rams. It's going to be Sanders. Good elbows there, good hands. Preserve the rebound, and here come the Lady Rams off of the defensive board into the front court. Ryan off to the right side, Scarborough. Nice bounce pass. That was going to be to Owens. Has to go right back to the outside. They'll reverse it around in the corner as the Massac County Lady Patriots are in the house. Up top with it, that's Scarborough. Nice lob pass to Makai. She's going to try to dribble baseline. Throws up a shot that's no good. Got her own rebound. Good hands. Off block. She's blocked. And now the rebound will go to Miscuda. Hmm. Lady Rams up 17. Good backdoor play. Cleveland there all alone. Posted up. Got the basket. Her first of the night. Well, if you're Mount Vernon, you don't want to go into shutdown mode, but you want to start making possessions for Miscuda a little bit tougher than that. And they'll get it across the timeline here. Scarborough back to Ryan at the circle with 6.41 left to go in the fourth quarter. Glad to have you with us regardless of how you're accessing us. Don't forget you can always have access to us on Twitter and Facebook, WMIX Sports in both locations. 6.31 left to go in the fourth. We'll have a scoreboard later tonight at WMIXSports.com. Tony Wilt, of course, provides our scoreboards on the air. As now, that's going to be Ooh. a double dribble inside. But anyhow, Tony Wilt, your State Farm agent is in Mount Vernon. Corner of 42nd Street and South Water Tower online at TonyWilt.com. Look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. Nice pass. They're going to leave. Zip full wide open for a three, and then she makes it look easy. Unbelievable. And just like that, back within 12 come the Indians. 41-29 with 6.09 left. It's not a three-quarter game. Going to have to play all four. It's across the timeline. That'll be, ooh, I thought it was going to be an unforced air. It was dribbled out of bounds. Last touch by Mascuda somehow. I wasn't there. I didn't see it. Mary and Lady Wildcats all ready to go. 
portions of the Carbondale Terriers are in here. Right of the circle, the inbound will go to Ryan. Six minutes left to play here in the fourth quarter. Owens with a deep right wing to the top for Isha Sanders. She'll look around, finds Ryan. Ryan shakes the defender. Lob play inside Hannah, and she's going to be fouled on her way up. Owens will go to the line to shoot two more. Fouls on Wetzler, her third, and then again the free throw line from Mount Vernon again. Basketball is heating up. Don't get caught without your Rams gear. Check out Winning Edge for a variety of Rams t-shirts, hoodies, caps, bags, and more. Find Winning Edge in Mount Vernon at 212 South Knight Street or on the web at winningedgeusa.com. First one, no go. Second one in route, it's good. 42-29, it's back to a Baker's Dozen with 5.47 left to go in regulation. Handoff will come left. They'll give right back to Nicola from Zipfel. Wetzel, Zipfel up top. Back to Wetzel off. Wetzler, rather, off of the right side. Alexander off of the arc. Left-hand dribble didn't need the screen there because it didn't happen. And now back to the top for Zipfel. Back to the outside. It'll be swung around to Alexander. Left-hand dribble trying to find a seam. Kicks out. Nicola now off a ball fake. Finds a layup off the right side of the glass. Rebound to go to Sanders. Good communication there by Scarborough and Sanders. Sanders told Courtney she had it. Now Courtney has it across the timeline with 5-10 left to play in the fourth. The WMIX Sports Mobile Studios are driven by Ford Square. Let's see what happens on this drive. It'll be Sanders with it. Free throw line jumper is long. Of course, Ford Square is at 15-01 Broadway in Mount Vernon. The Lady Rams forced to jump ball in the turnover. They get it right back. No, uh, that's good. I mean, they're hustling. Getting on the boards, that's good to see. Inbound will come right in the bucket. It'll be in to Rush. Now to the top, Ryan. Back to Scarber, who inbounded. She's going to just launch a three, and it's good. How about that? What else is new? Just throw that thing up there. Six in the game for Courtney. She has a lot, and it's 45-29. Wow. Oh, when you're shooting like that, it's going to be tough to beat you. Turn around for the far side. It'll be to the top for Zipful. She's going to have to get a nice jump stop in the lane and, long and get <laughs> an underhanded layup. Wow. That was out of nowhere. Works as long as it goes in. It's like on the golf course, it's not how, it's how many. 424 left in the fourth quarter. Of course, you're watching online at WMIXSports.com. It's powered by Renlake College. Log on to rlc.edu to see which of their more than 100 degree and certificate programs is right for you. You can apply online while you're there. 4.20 left in the fourth quarter, 45-31. Mount Vernon on top. This is going to be rough on the inbound. Ryan able to save it away from Cleveland and into the front court. Left of the circle, it'll be Scarborough. Oh, man, the hunger pain's starting to get me. That can be a distraction. That's never good. Sanders with it up top off the right arc. That's going to be Rush. 4.02 left to play here in the fourth quarter. Community First Bank of the Heartland is your official voice of high school sports here on WMIX. They present all of our coverage this week, whether it be the Midland Trail Conference Tournament, the Salem Invitational Tournament, or here at the Carbondale Midwinter. Community First Bank has five Jefferson County branches, by far your market leader, Mount Vernon, Dix, Woodlawn, and Ina. Ask about one checking, and always bank on your hometown team. Right wing, Claire Ryan with the basketball. Lady Rams are in the front court, of course. They are going right to left, and Sanders has it now between the circles. Throws off right arc for Rush. 3.29 left. Lady Rams are up 14, 45 31. We're going to have a quick timeout called by Jeff Lawn. And believe it or not, it's our first timeout of the night. And it is presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Ask Dr. Eric Black and staff about all of your pharmaceutical needs at the Medicine Shop. Proudly supporting the local community as well as the Rams and Lady Rams. Decent second half for Lady Rams, DC. Yeah, it looks, I mean, no, there's been a little letdown, but of course that's. To be expected when you have, you know, have such a big lead. But you got to be impressed coming out here on a Monday night, Monday afternoon, I should say, and getting things done. That's an important thing. And this team is to, to get things done and get things going the other way. And then you'll have a few days off to kind of get into a mode. Uh, you'll have practice Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for a couple games this weekend. So everything so far so good for Mount Vernon. A week off to a good start. It's a Monday. It's Martin Luther King Day, and of course it is the Carbondale Midwinter Tournament. We're out of the timeout. Lady Rams will have possession. 3.25 left to go. Up 14. It's 45-31. Into the right side, near the timeline, out of the corner. It'll be Ryan. Near the circle. Picked up the dribble. Bounces over to Courtney. Left of the circle. Scarborough has her dribble. She'll put it down. Good defense there by Nicola. 
trying to shut down Scarborough, who has six threes on the night. I think she has 21 uh, total, and now off the right side, that's going to be a foul on the Indians. That'll be their seventh, and that will send the Lady Rams to the line for the one and one. Foul on Cleveland, her first. She did a little rocking on the foul trail. That's a sixth on Cleveland. My apologies, they're quick on the scoreboard. Yeah. So Lady Rams will shoot the rest of the way. As it's a quick lob into Hannah, off the back of the iron, no good. Got her own rebound, ball back down, off glass. This time is good. First field goal of the night for Hannah Owens, 47 to 31. The Lady Rams are back up 16 with 2.55 left. Right corner three on the way is going to be no good. Wetzler misses, but Cleveland puts it back up. No good off of the offensive board. Very few second chance points to speak of for Mascuda. That's probably been one of the fall their drawbacks tonight. That's good for Mount Vernon, though. Good job, good work on the boards. Talk to Jeff Lonnan, of course, in your Schmidt Chevrolet post game show coming up after this one. We'll get you in touch with some Tony Wilt scoreboard updates. Tony Wilt is your State Farm agent of Mount Vernon. Get to a better state with State Farm as Ryan's going to find a nice wow. shot from the left block. Guard dominated today. Really much improvement from the guards this afternoon. Up 18 are the Lady Rams, 218 left, coming around. Ooh, nice play to get underneath. Iron going to be very kind as it rattles around. That's going to be a basket for Nicola. She echoes one in. Yep. <laughs> I see what you did there. 49-33, up 16 are the Lady Rams. Two minutes left to go. All alone, Micaiah. Off glass and good. Left side. And this is turning into a little bit of a rout. As we will have a timeout brought to you by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Dr. Eric Black and staff proud to support the local community as well as the Rams and Lady Rams. It's, the benches will be emptied. 51-33 the score with a minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. Of course, Community First Bank of the Heartland, the official voice of high school sports here on WMIX. Always bank on your hometown team. How about that one checking featuring free checking and high yield interest. One means more, Community First Bank of the Heartland. 51-33, Lady Rams are up 18. It's going to be quite the bevy of new entrants into the ball game here, of course, for the Indians. We see green. We see Gurink, Rikuro. <laughs> Who else is out there? Nicola has to stay in. Uh, that might be everybody. Three coming off of the right side. Nope. Zipfel pulled it down. They almost lose it. And they'll get across the timeline. For the Lady Rams, however, we know their names a little bit better. It's Jasmine Hawkins, Colleen Scoble, Peyton Hayes. Miriam Hester and Hannah out there for the moment, though I think that's getting ready to change. Might see Ms. Rankin check in for Hannah. She has to report the scores table first, but once it's official, she can come in. 138 left, Lady Rams with the basketball. Scoble will throw it in from the sideline with a minute 38 left to go. Up 18, Lady Rams are going to improve to 9-5 and five as the Lady Rams turn it over no, off of the inbound. That wasn't pretty. Lady Rams only with six turnovers today by my count. 137 left to go in the fourth quarter. It's certainly an improvement. Off the right wing. That's Recuro with the basketball. Green underneath off the right block. No good. Rebound will be tipped. It'll be Recuro to come up with it. Back to Nicola off the left. Steps to the top. Where's she going to go? Back to the top. Recuro. 115 left to play in the fourth quarter. We'll check in with some Tony Wilt scoreboard updates in our post game show. Three on the way is going to glance off the front iron. Rebound will go to Scoble up top. Tony Wilts in Mount Vernon, also worldwide at TonyWilt.com. Look for the white State Farm Jeep around town. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Less than a minute to play. Lady Rams up 18, 51-33. Scoble, nice pass off to the right side. A hard pass to Rankin. Looking back left, finds Hester to the top. With 50 seconds left to go here in the fourth quarter. Back off of the right arc. There is Hawkins. She was a hero here back on December the 17th, but the Lady Rams on top in that one. 54-52, I believe, is the finals. The Lady Rams got a big conference win here. Carbondale took it back, though, at Shagnon Gymnasium on Thursday. 35 seconds left. Lady Rams on top. They'll go to 9-5. and Mascuda's going to drop to 6-11 and 11 as Rankin gets it off of the left. Beauty First Bank is your official voice of high school sports. They have five Jefferson County branches. Malford and Dix, Woodlawn, and Ina. Welcome back to personal banking. Rankin with it off of the right wing with 15 seconds left to go. Almost a five count. 
Got it off. Uh-oh, stolen away. Recurl, that's going to be off of the official out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lady Rams. 7.3 ticks left to go in this one. Inbounding will be Scoble. Trying to work it into the front court. Nice hard pass into Hester. Hester's going to look for the shot underneath and come up short. Rebound with three seconds. We'll go to the Indians. It'll be Nicola across the timeline. Scoble sealed away, and that's going to be your final score. The Mountford and Lady Rams 51. The Mascuda Lady Indians 33. We'll take a break. Come back. Get you set on your Schmidt Chevrolet postgame show. This is Lady Rams basketball powered by Community First Bank. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was somewhere you could listen to knowledgeable discussion, interviews with a great mix of coaches, get the scores, and be entertained? You must have missed last week's Saturday Sports Show. Give AM 940 a couple of hours every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, and we'll give you the info you need like no one else can. It's your best option this sports season. The Saturday Sports Show on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should should be. Did your bank recently stop offering free checking? People's National Bank still has a free checking with the added convenience of a Visa check card, online banking, bill pay, money pass, and mobile banking. Stop by People's National Bank located at 413 South 34th Street in Mount Vernon today for details on how to get your free checking account. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC, non-usage fees may apply. You know by now I love baseball, love my family, and love my community. But I also love outdoing the competition. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Chrysler dealer at King City Chrysler Center, Mount Vernon. Chrysler has done it again. They are actively outdoing the competition. It's 0% financing plus plus. That's 0% financing plus bonus cash plus no payments. Yes, that's exactly right. No payments for 90 days on select models with approved credit. The competition isn't even in the same ballpark with these offers. We are excited at King City Chrysler and look forward to finding the perfect new Chrysler Dodge Jeep or Ram just for you. Hurry in today to work with one of our sales associates at King City Chrysler Center, 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, Illinois, or browse our inventory online at kingcitychryslercenter.com. What does technology sound like? Is it the clang of heavy machinery, the beeps and chirps of an electronic gadget? At the new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center, technology sounds a little something like this. It's the sound of a young girl excited because her mom's being released the same day as her minimally invasive surgery. Thanks to the Da Vinci Surgical Robot, our surgeon's hand motions are seamlessly translated into smaller, more precise movements. But surgery isn't the only way Good Samaritan is raising the bar for advanced health care in Southern Illinois. That's the sound of a patient's health record being updated and stored electronically for immediate access by nurses, primary care doctors, and specialists alike. That's why soon, the new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center will use all electronic patient health records. Less paper translates to faster, better care for you. And that sounds a little something like this. The new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital, raising the bar. This is Mount Vernon Lady Rams basketball from WMIX. Sports, the Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show starts now. And we welcome you back, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Chris Hugo with DC alongside on WMIX Mount Vernon, a free service from Withers Broadcasting. Worldwide at WMIXSports.com, where Jeff Crow brings you the video. Holly Carroll takes care of things back at our Mount Vernon studio. Tonight, DC, the Lady Rams get a big win to open up the Carbondale Midwinter Tournament, 51 to 33 over Mascuda. Played very well throughout, and I think that was key as they limited their turnovers. Had very successful from the field tonight. Good win for Lady Rams basketball. That's a good win. Good start to your week. Get a few days off to kind of brush some things up. But guard play was amazing tonight, this afternoon. Did a really good job of taking care of the basketball. And, of course, Scarborough goes for 21, including six three-pointers. I mean, that was a key. I mean, obviously, the turnovers were limited. You also had some good rebounding from Mount from Vernon today as well. We'll take a break. We'll come back with some scoring and stats. Don't forget, you can always find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We'll take a break here on your Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or view their inventory online at SchmidtChevrolet.com. We'll take that break. Your final score, Mount Vernon 51, 
Mascuda 33. Back to the Carbondale Girls Midwinter Tournament in a moment. This is Lady Rams Basketball from WMIX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Uh, now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balance. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. 16 years, I wrote about the area's great teams. Now I'm part of a great team, the sales team, Schmidt Board of Salem. I folks, it's Mike McManus, and I'm proud to be part of the Schmidt Ford family. Whether it be a new or free owned vehicle, let me or any other of our professional sales consultants help you find your next car or truck. You'll be glad you did. So stop by Schmidt Ford of Salem. Or visit us online at SchmidtFordofSalem.com. Too expensive to get back into shape? Not anymore. Red Lake College's new fitness center is only $53 per semester. They've also thought of everything with universal machines, free weights, treadmills with dedicated TV screens, ellipticals, and more. Qualified dance instructors are also available. Or go at your own pace with DVDs that can be used in the exercise room. Best of all, it's open seven days a week. Check out the Red Lake College Fitness Center in the Marketplace off Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Or log on to redlakecollege.edu slash Fit Center. WMIX Sports is your home for the Mount Vernon Lady Rams. Powered by Community First Bank. And welcome back. Carbondale Community High School. Chris Hugo with Danny Serwinski alongside Jeff Crow. Powers the video at WMIXSports.com. Holly Carroll is back at your Mount Vernon studio. That is your WMIX Sports team. Lady Rams get a big win here tonight to open up the Carbondale Midwinter Tournament. 51-33 over Mascuda. Jeff Lonnen the head coach of the Mount Vernon Lady Rams joins us now. Jeff, big win for the Lady Rams. 18-point victory. Played well. It would also help Oops. if I turn off your microphone. There we go. Now okay. I can hear myself. Amateurs. We, uh, <coughs> we did play well today. We, we really did. We were relaxed. I, there wasn't any pressure on us. Uh, you know, uh, we, we, I thought you know, they were very uh, methodical in how they played today. I don't think we turned it over very much, which was a, a bad improvement. You know, we've had some turnovers here recently that were costly for us. And, um, you know, I guess my big complaint maybe is we missed too many free throws. We, we, did do, we did do that. But had we made those free throws, you know, we'd have probably scored 60 or 65 points. And that's, that's big offense for us now, I'm telling you. We, we just uh, – we feel like when we crack 50, we've, we've had an offensively very, uh, successful night. So uh, defense was good. We allowed, I think, 32 and that's big in this tournament because, uh, you know, when you win three in this tournament, and if you're tied with somebody, they go back to defensive average. So uh, 32's uh, a pretty solid number to post in your first game defensively. Um, so overall, uh, a good afternoon. Well, here's my thing that I take away from it. You had a tough loss last Thursday at home against a very good Carbondale team. But not only that, not only you have to bounce back from that, the girls are off today, yeah. kind of a distraction. How do you keep them focused in a time like that? Were they ready to go? I mean, were they wanting to get back out here and just dominate? Like well, they did? I can I can tell you that the the, the worst the, the person that felt the worst about the Carbondale game obviously was me, um, and I was a little bit concerned going back to the gym with uh, with them on Friday and Saturday what their mindset would be uh, about playing the game of basketball after having such a frustrating uh, final minute of that basketball game on Thursday, but. You know, I, I found them in a pretty good mood on Friday, and, and then I found them in an even better mood on Saturday. And, and you know, they just – you know, kids are very resilient. They really are. I think, you know, what seems like tragedy at the time, you give them about three or four hours and a night's sleep or whatever, and they're good to go the next day. And these guys were. And uh, I was concerned about this game. This is a team that beat us by 10 in the, in the Nashville tournament. Um, but – those are different circumstances. I think we've, I think we've improved, and I think that, uh, especially offensively, and I think that, uh, you know, they they also lost a player between then and now. That hurt them. Uh, that jockey girl who got 12 against us the first time we played them. But you know, I think just more than anything, uh, we were rested. That was the second game of the day at Nashville. That day we had to we had to play Ma Massac County and Muscoota in the same day. And I can promise you, you. 
you take a team and play Massac County, and you're going to need rest. You know, they will flat wear you out, and uh, which and they're getting ready to do that to Marion here in just a little bit. They they are they are the real deal, and uh, I'm look forward to watching them in this game as well. Your guards were very aggressive early on. I thought that was key in getting you off to a good start, not only outside, obviously your three pointers, but obviously getting it up down the floor, taking care of the ball, and getting your team into a flaw offensively yeah. early on. Well, it always helps when the ball goes in the basket when you're shooting it out there. And, you know, Courtney made sure of that. I don't know how many threes she had, but that's that's probably – did she have seven? Seven. That's the most threes that a player has had uh, in my coaching career in a game. Uh, Turned them loose, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Well, okay. um, that's, I mean, there's – I think the most prior to that may have been five. We had it one of five once. Uh, seven's a record for my own personal deal. So uh, she's she's playing well right now. And uh, when she plays well, it all looks better, I can tell you that, because, uh, you know, we don't get a lot of scoring out of our four and five spots. And, and uh, we or excuse me, our four and five spots, or excuse me, our our four spot and our three spot. Uh, we get a lot, most of our scoring out of our one, two, and our five. And uh, when one of those three uh, doesn't doesn't play well or doesn't score, it really hurts us offensively. And when one of those three really, really overachieves, it really makes us look good. And that's what's happening right now. She's gone 24, 27, and today I believe she had uh, uh, 21. So when you get those numbers from, from Courtney, uh, it takes a lot of pressure off of us offensively. So uh, we just hope that she keeps that up. And if she does, uh, you know, it, it's going to be a good second half here. We have time to prepare now for Friday night with the Massac County Lady Pats, obviously a team we've talked about. They bested you back at Nashville on Black Friday in an early game, but you have some time to prepare, of course. You come off of a win. I'm not going to say yeah. that it's going to be an easy road to victory, but, I mean, with a little bit well, more time to prepare than what you had last time. We want to win this tournament, and, and I think that, that, that uh, you know, we'll be ready to play. And, and I've said this, I said this the other day on the show. I said, you know, uh, we'll compete and we'll be there. I mean, it's not going to be a deal where we just get blown out. You know, I, I feel really good about the fact that in our five losses, you can look at every one of those losses, and we were right there, just lost by a hair at the end. I think the, the Muscuta game where we had to play two in a day was probably the one that, you know, got away from us a little bit. But when you think about it and you think about the games we've lost, Belleville East, I understand, but even against Belleville East, who we end up losing to by about 15 or 16, I mean, that game in the fourth quarter was four or five points in the beginning, and then we just had to take some gambles, and then they just ate us alive whenever we did that. But the thing is, is we're playing basketball where we compete every contest, no matter who it is. We're in it at the end. We win some, we lose some. Um, but, uh, you know, that's, that's, how you, that's where you have to be in order to be successful. You just... You just have to have a basketball team that any, even when they lose basketball games, they have give, are giving themselves chances to win. And I think we've done that every every game. And we did that against Massac at, at Nashville and just came up a little bit short by about three points. So hopefully we can turn that around uh, Friday. Well, hopefully so. And, of course, we'll try to figure out a way to get you on Friday night. We'll figure it out somehow, some way. We have multiple plans to try to make that happen. Uh, but um, it's a big game for you. We want to be here for you, Jeff. Congratulations on a big win here tonight. Good uh, luck the rest of the way. Well, I appreciate you guys being here. The video, uh, the video is a huge help for us, by the way, and Crow knows that. But I mean, uh, as I've told you a hundred times, you know, well, I haven't told you a hundred times, but you're going to hear it a hundred times. I bought a new camera this year, and I, uh, I'm not very good at working it. So whenever you guys show up, it takes a lot of pressure off of me. There we go. It's what we're here for, believe it or not. Thank you. <laughs> we need to take a break here on your Schmitz from Lake Post Game Show. That was Lady Rams head basketball coach Jeff Lonnen. Lady Rams win this one 51 to 33. When we come back, we'll have scoring and stats, a scoreboard update, and your player of the game. This is Lady Rams basketball from WMIX Sports. There's a good reason why Second Chance Auto has been in business for 33 years. They believe in doing business the right way with honest deals. It's the only way they know. And thanks to Second Chance Auto, you don't have to head out of town to get financing. They offer bank rate financing to everyone. Yes, everyone. You'll find a great selection of quality vehicles with three-month or 3,000-mile warranties. Come see why they've been successful for 33 years at Second Chance Auto. Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. 
Learn to live healthy, learn to live well, and learn how you can live free from unexpected medical expense with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance and the Page Agency. Health insurance that covers hospital, medical, and surgical expenses offers a wide choice of deductibles and a non-tobacco user discount, too. Rising medical costs don't have to be a problem with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance. This is coverage we hope you'll never need, but you just can't be without. Call the Page Agency at 242-7000 about a major medical health insurance plan today. Watch the Lady Rams online at WMISports.com, powered by Red Lake College. And we welcome you back, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside 51-33, your final, the Lady Rams victorious over Mascuda. Nice interview with Jeff Lana, of course, very happy after the game outside of the free throw shooting, I think, but we'll take a look at your scoring and stats. And I think as you take a look at the stats, as you hear the stats, you won't find many faults in this Lady Ram effort tonight. Very no. good effort by the Lady Rams. Very good effort <coughs> by the Lady Rams here tonight. And stats are Mount Vernon was 11-26 from two-point range for 42%. They were 4 of 10 from the arc for 40. They go 18 of 36 from the field for 50%. Mascuda 10 of 30 from two-point range, 33%. They were 2 of 11 from the arc for 18, 12 of 41 from the field for 29%. Free throw shooting, 5 of 18 for Mount Vernon, 28%. 7 of 11 for Mascuda, 64%. Lady Rams won the rebounding battle, 30 to 27. Mascuda had nine turnovers to six for the Lady Rams. Mascuda was led in scoring today by Brittany Ziffel and Maddie Nicola with 12 points each. Megan Lindsay with four. Alex Cleveland, two, and Kennedy Bryant had one. Courtney Scarborough led the way for Mount Vernon with 21. Claire Ryan had nine. Hannah Owens, 7. Makaya Rush, 6. Isha Sanders, 5. And Peyton Hayes, 3 to give you a final score. Mount Vernon, 51. Mascuda, 33. Of course, Lady Rams basketball all season long is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. 5, Jefferson County Ranches, and responsive quality service for all of your accounts. Community First Bank would like to be the first to say welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. 51-33, your final. Of course, I, I think our player of the game is rather obvious. Courtney Scarborough with those six three-pointers, 21 points. No doubt she is the player of the game here this afternoon. Of course, and what is getting ready to be a busy week of high school basketball, not only on WMIX but around the area. We'll leave you. Before we leave you, I should say, we'll have a Tony Wilt scoreboard update. And boys play. It is Greenville 58, East Alton Wood River 42. That's over at the Litchfield Tournament. At the Washington Tournament, boys play. It was Alton 76, Grays Lane North. 53. Girls play was Elder, or at El Dorado. Goreville beat Vianna 66-57 and Harrisburg beat Fairfield 48-20. Tony Wilts, your State Farm agent of Mount Vernon. You can find him online at TonyWilt.com. Look for him in his office at the corner of 42nd and South Water Tower or try to find the White State Farm Jeep around town. Of course, this is your Schmidt Chevrolet post postgame show. It's pretty well going to do it for us this afternoon. As the Mount Vernon Lady Rams beat Mascuda 51 to 33 opening game of the Carbondale Midwinter Tournament. We're back here hopefully on Friday. Somehow, some way, somebody will be here. Of course, we have arrangements in place should that happen, and we'll be definitely be here on Saturday morning as the Lady Rams will take on Collinsville. So for tonight, for Danny Zerwinski, for Jeff Crow, for Holly Carroll, for all of us at WMAX Sports. Thank you for accessing our broadcast tonight, whether it be on AM 940 or video at WMAXSports.com. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at WMAX Sports. Find the scoreboard later tonight at WMAXSports.com. That means I'm Chris Hugo reminding you of the final score. The Mountford and Lady Rams 51, Mascuda 33. Good night from Carbondale.